Hello there, you two. <laughs> it's a lounge about day for the old mutt. It is Saturday, the 28th of January, and although the sun hasn't come out yet, it looks like blue skies, and you can see the sun's trying to come through up there. Blue skies should prevail here. I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be partly cloudy. Man, the birds are out by the billions. No coat on, just wearing my t-shirt. It's 47 degrees out here. It feels like springtime. All right. Let's dig the old glide out and, and uh, go play for a little bit here. <laughs> and then I rolled her out and got the tires aired up. And the amount of time it set, each tire lost six pounds. That's pretty normal when you let them sit. Anyway, um, let me grab some gear and stuff like that. And we're going to cruise off on the old glide. Yeah, dang. Sure is a pretty one. Look at that. There she is. Man, oh man. 110 days since I've ridden this thing last. 110. How does that even happen? That's three months and 18 days ago. But we're about to end that right now. Thought I'd bounce on him, kind of cruising down the highways and the byways here. Um, wow! All I can keep saying is wow to myself. Man, forget how comfortable this thing is. God, forget how much power it has. I'm like, dang! I forgot this Milwaukee Eight runs like a scalded dog. <laughs> I just keep rolling on, and I'm like, damn! That's awesome! Wow. Damn, I forgot how well the brakes work too. Good God! This sucker's got some brakes on it. It seems so cool that all the it's got all that power <laughs> down low. This attack's just floating there. It's like driving a, a diesel-powered motorcycle. Been spending too much time on too much time on everything but Harley's. Forget how well these things run. Oh man! And uh, the heated grips, I had them, I had them initially on uh, on position two, and that was absolutely burning my hands. But in all fairness, these uh, climb gloves are—it's just a uh, you know leather layer, no insulation or anything in them. So uh, I forgot these mirrors kind of have a weird tint to them as well. Wow, so exciting. It feels so good to ride this thing again. I just love how the engine just kind of loafs along and you have all that torque and all that power. Man, you just gotta love a Harley. Absolutely cool as hell. Anyway, I'm gonna head up, head up north. I'm a, like I was telling you guys last night, you know, that actually cooled off a little bit. But uh, heading up to uh, Lacey, Washington, and uh, see what's going on at the Harley shop. There's the uh, Olympia Brewery structure right there. That's the falls right off to our right there. Sorry, I got going slow speeds through the town here, and my shield started fogging up. Can't even see the falls from the road here. You can actually, if you're daring enough, you can look back while you're going down the freeway here and you can see the old, uh, the old original brewery down there. It was, uh, I think it was completed in 1906. They didn't stay there very long. It didn't seem like. Yeah, I can't, I can't turn you long enough for you to see it. Well, hello there, SV peeps. Swapping out my glasses because I may or may not get sun. As soon as I swap these out, I'll probably get sun. But uh, went in there, hung around. They're having a this is that um, iron and or ink and steel or ink and iron little thing they've had. 
going on today? Crazy busy, I guess it was all day today. Sold a bunch of bikes and which is all good stuff for for the motorcycle people and the motorcycle industry and for the nice people that end up with motorcycles. <laughs> Everybody wins. But uh anyway I checked on the uh they had some I had some shields but not not the one I want. I want the 10 inch um, 10 inch clear. And oddly enough, ran into a guy with, uh, shooting the bull with Rob there. And uh, he has the stock one off of his uh, Ultra Limited that he's going to bring down here next week and, and give to Rob. And next time I come up. I'll have the stock 10 inch shield, which is just like that, that trike you can see across the way there. It's just one of these, just 10 inches and clear. That'll be perfect for uh, for those traveling and like days like today when it's kind of nippy outside. It'd be perfect. So anyway, I'm going to roll out and uh, I'll be chit-chatting with you guys at some point. <laughs> All right, we're off. Had to take myself a little old man's break here. Yardbirds. <laughs> you guys have never stopped at Yardbirds and checked out this huge swamp meat. You are missing out. This place is so cool. There's so much stuff in here. <clears throat> I hate coming out, coming here without the little woman because we always come in here together. So it seems weird. But anyway, back on my journey. Oh, my street glide special. Out the old yard birds. Oh, look at that thing. Man, I'm glad I put them soft lowers on that thing because it's colder than heck out here. Man, is this thing so much fun to ride. All right, we're off. I'm in Toledo <laughs> at the gas station we were at last night. I was the only person here when I pulled in. I'm surrounded. Look what I paid for gas. For super. three oh nine nine per gallon. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I spent that much on gas. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, what a fun, fun ride. I'm freezing my butt off now because it's like 43 degrees out here. Maybe even less by now. Whew. And this uh, this jacket, I don't have a liner in it, so it's, it's essentially a fancy windbreaker. There's my little wife saying, where you at, son? The bike is probably going to show, yeah, it's showing 44. But anyway, phenomenal ride. I'm a little rusty with the motor vlog stuff, but we'll get back into all that. This is the first time I put gasoline in a uh, vehicle this year, in a motorcycle. <laughs> you know I've been putting plenty of gas in vehicles. First time putting petrol in a motorcycle. I wonder if that's my kid's KTM. <laughs> It looked like it, didn't it? I should stop, take a picture of the VIN number and then the license plate number. I doubt it would still look that pretty and new at this point. But I ended up riding past dark. Had to happen. But uh, anyway, I'm going to rip up the hill here and uh, get back to the house and uh, I'll chit chat with you guys at that point and uh, I think I've mentioned it probably 500 times at least today on this ride but these heated grips are magical when I was at Yardbirds I switched over to my uh, my winter climb gloves because uh, my hands were getting getting too cold I mean heated grips do a great job but uh there's a point that you need to have some winter gloves on because it heats the inside of your hands, not the outside. So I've been quite comfortable with these. I, I don't like that bigger, gaudier feeling, but um, they're uh, 
you got to do that sometimes. Man, you got to watch the gravel in the road around here. It'll sneak up and get you. But anyway, I'm going to bomb up the hill here. And uh, we'll chit-chat with you guys up in the house. Who's waiting in the mail for me? Awesome Rob. He, he texted me yesterday. Hold on. And said that uh, that jumper kit showed up. And that he would mail it to me. There's the the instructions. Come on. Don't don't fight me when I'm doing this with one hand. So anyway, that's a the the jumper kit for the street glide. So I'm going to go ahead and install it anyway. But if I need uh, if I ever put like heated seat or put the tour pack or anything like that on it. These are just accessory wires. You got a, a 12 volt wire, a, a 12 volt keyed wire, and then your ground. And this is just a plug and play Deutsch connector for a tour pack, seats, whatever. And this will plug into the, into the bike harness. And this is a jumper that feeds from the battery into a, I don't know if it goes in one of these couplers or, yeah, it goes into a coupler on the bike, but anyway, that's it. And there's the instructions for it. So, I'm not going to do this right away or anything, but I will install that. Cool stuff. Thanks, Rob. Well, the old glides back in her little spot, back on the little charger. I didn't get the GSA in the same spot, but I'm close. Got, got her back on the charger. Man, that was a fun, fun ride. Way cool that I ended up with a uh, a stock ultra limited 10 inch shield for that thing. Super nice gentleman there at Northwest Harley offered to do that. He's going to bring it in and drop it off with Rob, and I'll snag it whenever I go up there next. How cool is that? Maybe we'll do something weird and ride the BMW there next weekend or something. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Alrighty. That's it for the night. Well, hello there, YouTube. Are you freaking kidding me? 110 days since I rode that street glide? And I thought I had more miles on it when I did. I, I was thinking it was like 698 or something. It was 659 or 658 miles is all I had on that thing. That's all I rode that thing after, since I bought it? That's, that's crazy. That's pitiful. I was thinking, you know, when did I do the service on that thing? I go, wait a minute. It hasn't even reached the first service. First service is <laughs> a thousand miles. Wow. You know, the break-in... You know, you'd be somewhat easy to it, and gentle, whatever, for the first 500 miles. But you don't do anything at 500 miles. You just, I think you check belt tension or something. There's some little thing you do, but you don't change oil. You don't do the really the first service until 1,000 miles, which now is much closer. <laughs> I better get the, I don't think I have any more Harley oil filters. Yeah, so I need to get a filter, and, and I use moon oils and whatnot. But that was very fun. It's weird. I, in my head, I was still thinking it was a, you know, old twin cam 103. I'm not riding that thing, and I'm like, dang, it's like, wow, man, the perform. It's so pretty. It's like I haven't seen it in forever. Yeah, she's one pretty son of a gun. Mm -hmm. I got this thing all mixed up because I had a phone sitting in this thing last night. But um, yeah, wow, brakes, power. That thing's so much fun. That thing is so comfortable. I was uh, thinking, man, I went to Yellowstone. That was probably the most comfortable trip I've ever taken. I mean, I just can't. The seat and nothing ached. Nothing's in a weird place. You know, your handlebars and feet arrangement. Nothing's in a weird way that you get some weird ache or anything like that. And the most important thing is that seat doesn't hurt. That's really weird that that seat is as comfortable as what it is. Because if you look at it, it doesn't look very thick at all. It's nuts. But 
that's a lot of fun today. And that super nice guy is going to give me a shield. So, wow. They had smoke and tent or whatever, but that doesn't work. I mean, I like those shields, but that doesn't work for, for vlogging. And I don't like using that side mount thing. I don't want to be able to just put you in the normal spot and you're right along with me, you know. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I like that look. It just, it's more immersive, you know. You feel like you're riding along with me. Hey, pay attention. The helmet that you see in the video, you might have to go back. But uh, the helmet should, everything should move together. But you'll see the helmet moving around in the video. It can't move. The camera's attached to it. That's the image stabilization working on the Hero 5 black. Never even paid attention. I said, what the hell? Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. It works. <laughs> but anyway, I did record a whole boatload of stuff there. So we're uh, trying to get this in a in a time frame that, that I like. Um, we're going to have to cut our little... That was her phone buzzing. Oh. We're going to have to cut our little, little goodbye a little short tonight. <laughs> But I uh, had a fun day. Froze my butt off, but I had a fun day. I just thought I was going to be a lot warmer than what I was. Wow, uh, woman, do you realize it's after 11 o'clock? I know. Got a video to do, and I wanted to do a motor, uh, a motor vlog ain't happening. Not tonight. But it's a good chance. Now they're saying 50% chance of rain tomorrow. So I may be pretty much housebound if I do that. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll finish up the... Uh, uh, heat a grip and solve video and today's motor vlog. And I need to get horse food and chicken food. Oh, so we're going to go somewhere too. Yes. <laughs> All right, we better go. You guys take care. Thank you very much for watching. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow, okay? Sounds like a plan. Hope you guys enjoyed goofing around on the old motorcycle, the old glide. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. It's a I lot know, of fun. it's so pretty. Yep. And if it does get nice or, you know, it's just damp and not dumping or whatever, we'll, uh, I had a thing in mind where I want to take the, the GSA, so we'll go goofing around exploring on that. So yeah, go play. Keep your fingers crossed. Tomorrow's pretty nice. Yeah. All right. Until then. You we'll guys see. take care. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs>